These are band shoes. It's illegal to wear these in any major marathon. In fact, back in 2021, the winner of the Vienna Marathon got stripped of his gold medal for using them because they artificially made him faster. But these shoes are perfect for me because I'm trying to set a new personal record and achieve a lifelong dream of mine that I'll explain more about later. A marathon is 26.2 miles of pure pain. And you've seen me run a marathon in Crocs and flip-flops, but this marathon is much more serious than that. You're about to witness me pushing myself to the absolute limit of what my body is capable of. My first task was to sneak these shoes to the start line, which was surprisingly easy. I mean, I literally just walked in with these very high quality, custom high-tech shoe cover thingy me bops. Look who I ran into. Dude, what are you running in? Dude, the Nike pegs, but Let's I'm not go. gonna be running. Dude. Check it out. Wait. Are those the band shoes? Band shoes, baby. Illegal. No. Illegal. I snuck in. I snuck in. The race is about to begin, and my goal in these shoes is to run it in two hours and 55 minutes. A personal record. This is it. It's just me, these shoes, and a record to beat. Here we go. There it is. Pretty cold out here. It's like 35 degrees. I got spears. Mile one. Any advice you got for me? Win. Do you think I can pull it off with the uh, band shoes? Bro, I think you'll shatter that. Let's go, the baby. band shoes are bad for a reason. And right away, the competition was starting to notice. What are you wearing today? Trey. Oh, nice. Local brand. Okay. Light like a clown. All right, I'm running in band shoes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good luck out there, man. Let's go, Zay! Woo! All right, Tyler, I'm dropping Tyler. Let's go, baby. Did it. Good stuff, kill hey. it. We got it. Things were off to a good start, and it's the perfect time to tell you about my strategy. All right, so the strategy is fairly simple. I need to be holding 640 pace until mile 20. If I feel good at mile 20, that's when we start shaving that away. But I've got a long ways to go. It's time to start cooking. Start cooking is a severe understatement. The average running pace of an American male is nine minutes and 32 seconds. I'm basically trying to shave three minutes off that pace for 26 miles straight. Thanks, feel good. I've been dealing with this Achilles injury the better part of the last year. And I'm not gonna lie, starting the race, right Achilles, pretty tender. However, mile two, it kind of just went away. <laughs> We'll see. I was holding pace very strong. In fact, maybe a bit too strong as I finished mile three with a 633 mile. A little bit fast. I don't need to be running 633, so I'm gonna slow down slightly. Feeling good. Don't get ahead of yourself, Isaiah. Mile three, we get to run downhill. <laughs> Not so bad. Still a little fast, 635s. I kind of need to slow down a little bit, but I feel good. Don't overdo it, I say. It's very important that I stick to my 640 pace and not push myself too hard at the beginning. I need to save that energy for the end. I really need to slow down. This is too fast. Oh, slow down, I say. Slow down. That's 12 seconds too fast. Mile five, I just took a salt pill. I also took a little bit of water, and I'm going to take my first Martin gel. Um, I'm going to take a gel every five miles as well as a salt pill to help with cramping. Oh yeah, you for the vlog, baby. Yeah, I'll do just about anything for the vlog. Let's just say that cramping is a serious issue for me and I need to do everything I can to make sure that it doesn't happen. Mile six and once again, it seems I've tossed my plan completely out the window as I slam down yet another 630 mile. Let's just say that these shoes are causing me to blow right past my goal mile times. Another kind of fast mile and I just having trouble slowing down. <laughs> Not a bad problem, but I really do need to keep in mind for later. I'm not even following my own plan. Man, there is nothing better than a hometown race. It really helps you appreciate your city. Austin, Texas. Man, you pretty. Come on. For hydration, I have a very simple strat. Half electrolytes, half water. You can't let yourself get dehydrated. Almost mile seven. Let's go, baby. Mile seven, and I'm finally where I need to be right around 6.40. If I just stay here, we're good. Banked up a little bit of time, so I have some stuff to fall back on. It's kind of lonely out here, all alone now. The crowds are gone, you're in your own head. You're starting to think, I don't know if I can do this. Quad's starting to hurt, Achilles is hurting again. Do I have what it takes? 
Heck yes, I do. No one's gonna believe in you until you believe in yourself. Ooh, yeah. I felt like a good line. <laughs> Before I knew it, I was at mile eight and realizing that the hills are going to be much harder than I anticipated. Mile eight, pretty sizable hill here. <laughs> Ooh, it's tough. So that was a 648, a little slower than I'd like. I think that's because that hill. I mean, you have some time, but uh, can't let that happen too often. But slow miles, honestly, isn't my only obstacle. All right. <sighs> I really have to pee, but I don't want to stop because that's 20 seconds that I have to make up later. <laughs> I gotta make a decision. Do I hold it or do I pee myself? Ah. <laughs> you don't think I'll do it. You don't think Isaiah Photo will pee himself while racing. Think again. Mile 10, which is time for another goo, another salt pill. The miles were flying past and my pace was almost perfect. Another hill. How did I forget about all these hills? Holy smokes. Approaching mile 11, I still have to pee pretty bad. <laughs> Just can't wait any longer. And I don't want to stop, because I don't want the lactic acid to build up. And I also just don't want to stop, so. Here I go. There it is. I peed my pants. Honestly though, if I'm slamming down 640s, who even cares if I pee my pants? Let's go, baby! You got it's halfway and probably a good time to check in with my body to make sure that everything is going according to the plan. Here we go, halfway. Got a car out here. Oh, yeah, man. Let's go. Woo. All right, halfway mark. Um, doing okay. Achilles feels okay. <laughs> That's what I needed to hear, Bobby. Bobby's encouragement was definitely helping. And just like that, we were already at mile 15 right on pace and time to take another jump. This is also where things started to become increasingly more difficult. A lot of stuff hurting here. Mild, 16 and a half. Ooh. Slowed down a decent amount. Knee hurts, calf hurts, Achilles hurts, hip hurts. Ooh. We're in the suffer fest, baby. This is my 11th marathon. I've actually tried to achieve this goal 10 other times in the last nine years. And for some reason, this is one of those goals that no matter how many times I fail, I just can't let go of. And at this point in the race, I'm doing everything I can to tell myself not to give up. All my training, all my planning, the nutrition, everything has led up to this and has taken meticulous thought to make sure that the execution is perfect. Yep, that's me, walking. The pain in my legs was becoming so unbearable that I wasn't able to record much past mile 18. I started to realize that my goal is slowly slipping out of my grasp. I could easily give up right now, or... I can't believe it, but PR is somehow still within reach. I've slowed down a lot, I've slowed down so much and at this point in the race there's this voice telling me that they give up as they stop running it hurts too much you can make the pain stop right now just stop running it sounds so good it sounds so good i want to do it i want to give up i want to stop but there's this other voice that's talking to me it's quiet. oh man it's quiet at first it's kind of faint and and as I'm running, it's getting louder. It's getting louder. It's getting louder. And it's saying, Isaiah, you can do it. You can push through. You've won this. You've won this for so long. Believe in yourself. Believe in your legs. Believe in the work. Believe that you can. God dang, where am I coming? I know I can do it. I know I can push it. I know it hurts. These shoes are awesome. I mean, they really do help you run faster, but I realize that they've completely ruined my strategy. I 
put so much into my nutrition, hydration, and training so that I could finally achieve this goal, but I made one fatal error. My goal was to run a 640 pace for each mile, but I put too much trust in these shoes. There it is. Finish line. The first seven miles of the race, I was running way too fast, and that came back to bite me. But I learned an important lesson. It doesn't matter what you've got on your feet if you don't stick to the plan. Bro, please watch my video.